Osteoporosis uh, can be thought of um, as a disease of the bone. If you think of the bone, the bone is actually a living organ that is constantly being formed and re remodeled uh, as we get older. Now, if you think of bone as, as being like uh, honeycomb, honeycomb has nice thick uh, cores and then it has a, uh, central holes. And if you think of osteoporosis, those holes are basically getting bigger and there's a disconnect where more, more bone is being removed than is being formed. There are several risk factors associated with osteoporosis. As we uh, get older, uh, the bone tends to uh, thin. For example, 25% of women aged over the age of 60 years of age have osteoporosis or have thinning bones. It's higher in women than in men because uh, women have a hormone called estrogen and when they go through uh, menopause, that hormone is stopped being formed. There are certain lifestyle factors, for example, if one is a smoker, drinks heavily, and also drinks caffeine, more than three cups of uh, coffee a day, that can also lead to uh, thinning bones. Other causes of osteoporosis are, for example, if you're on medications such as steroids, they're known to thin the bones. Certain ethnicities, for example, if you're Caucasian or Asians, they have a higher incidence of osteoporosis than non-Caucasians or non-Asians. Uh, um, and uh, other examples, for example, uh, diet. If you have a diet that's low in uh, calcium or vitamin D, that can also lead to osteoporosis. In terms of if you know if you have it or not, it's unfortunately one of those conditions that is uh, silent. It really manifests, for example, if one uh, trips and falls and sustains a fracture. And if one looks at the x-ray, sometimes you get a clue that the bones are thin. Uh, those people that are fall and, and break their bones, such as uh, their wrist or their hip, that's called a fragility fracture. And if you think of the actual incidence of these fragility fractures, it's higher than if one combines the overall annual incidence of uh, heart disease, uh, stroke, and breast cancer in, the, in America uh, in every year. And so it's estimated by 2040 that the actual incidence of these fragility fractures, which is approximately 2 million fractures a year, may uh, be set to double. Other uh, ways that one can have a cl uh, clue is if you're having osteoporosis is if somebody mentions that your height is actually decreasing as you're getting older, as the bones in your back tend to collapse. And so really the diagnosis uh, is, uh, you can get a clue from it from the x-ray, but the main diagnosis is from a bone scan called a DEXA scan, where they, where they look at the certain values, for example, in your spine or your wrist or your hip and uh, compare it to a normal uh, bone scan and, uh, and density and then determine if you, indeed you have osteoporosis or not. There are several things that one can do. Uh, mainly, uh, they're uh, uh, centered around a, a, an active lifestyle. For example, if one's doing uh, weight-bearing activities uh, in the gym, uh, on, on the treadmill, doing some gentle weights, by, by stimulating your muscles, they indeed transmit these forces to the bone and hence stimulate them to try and actually produce more bone. So a simple thing, which is not only good for your overall health system, but good for your bones. There's other uh, things that one can do, for example, a diet, which is uh, healthy in uh, calcium and vitamin D, uh, can also help. And certain things, for example, restricting your caffeine intake, stopping smoking, which is obviously good for other reasons for the, uh, for the uh, health system, but also for the bones, and also decreasing your um, uh, alcohol consumption. Now, if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, I think it's very important to see your doctor. Uh, either your primary care physician or an endocrinologist. And sometimes they may start you on some calcium and vitamin D, or there's also medications that one can give you, uh, which range from uh, hormone injections to uh, other uh, medications that you can take by mouth. And then they will monitor your bone density over time with different scans to see if indeed you're actually making bone and preventing this from happening. The key is when, when, you're, when you're young is just to have a healthy diet because even if you take in too much calcium or vitamin D, they can have uh, adverse effects. So I think as long as you're having a healthy diet, uh, especially when you're young, but more importantly when you're older, to make sure that you're, you're uh, taking enough calcium and vitamin D and in certain areas where there's not much sun, especially in the winter, taking a supplementation of vitamin D may actually help you.